Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Night Sky Newscast. I'm your host, Shaheen Alifon, science reporter with the Dale Etheridge Planetarium at the College of Southern Nevada. This week we'll talk about NASA missions that you may have never heard of. On July 30th, the Juno spacecraft did its closest flyby yet of Io, one of Jupiter's moons. This flyby can help provide information on the hundreds of volcanoes on this moon. The spacecraft can identify heat sources to help scientists find active volcanoes on Io. The Juno mission was launched in 2011 and has been studying Jupiter and its moons ever since it began orbit in 2016. It's currently on the third year of its extended mission until of September 2025 or until the spacecraft dies, whichever comes first. A spacecraft saying goodbye is always an emotional moment. Next up is the Lucy mission to fly to the Trojans. Sound familiar? We talked about the Trojans on the last newscast. Go check it out if you haven't already. As a reminder, the Trojans are thousands of asteroids that share the same orbit as Jupiter. They're thought to be the remains of the formation of our solar system. The Lucy mission launched in October 2021, and the spacecraft will take a 12-year journey to eight different asteroids. Lucy is currently making her way through space right now and isn't expected to encounter her first Trojan asteroid until 2027. This next one is a mission to Psyche, a metal-rich asteroid orbiting the Earth between Mars and Jupiter. It's unique because it appears to be made of nickel and iron, just like the core inside Earth. This mission will give scientists a chance to learn more about the cores of planets and what sort of processes create rocky planets. The mission will launch on October 5 later this year. It's currently in a testing phase with 100 days left to launch. How about the Europa Clipper mission? This mission plans to send a spacecraft to orbit Jupiter and gather lots of measurements to determine if Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, could support life. It's not actually looking for life on that moon, per se. This was announced in mid-2021 and will launch in October 2024. Currently, NASA is building the Europa Clipper spacecraft. It'll travel for five years and arrive at Jupiter in April 2030. There's a way for you to get involved with the mission, too. You can have your name engraved on the spacecraft as it travels to Europa. Your name will travel with a poem written by a U.S. Poet Laureate. Go to the link in the description to sign your name. Here's mine. Finally, here's something interesting to look out for in the distant future. NASA and DARPA are working together to build a nuclear thermal rocket engine to use for future Artemis missions, and eventually to go to Mars. DARPA stands for the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and is a branch of the Department of Defense that tests new military technology. This rocket will be tested in space as soon as 2027. Just last week, NASA announced NASA Plus, their own free streaming service. They'll be including NASA Plus on the NASA app in late 2023, as well as revamping all their websites. You can access the beta of the new website now and give feedback. Whether it's to the website or the app, how else are you going to keep track of all these missions? Thank you for watching, everyone. Hit that like button if you're excited about the many missions NASA has planned and has going on. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments below, too. This is Shaina with Night Sky Newscast, and until next time, keep your eyes to the skies and stay curious.